In the beginning, there's a big note of vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the last of my four red breast whiskies here on my cask. It's the red breast 21 years old and this one appeared just a few years ago. I think it was in 2013 and it's rare and expensive. So it's over 150 euros, dollars, pounds. Uh, and I'm afraid it will not be available, I think, for a long time because uh, supplies are very, very short. Um, to say a few things about pot still, single pot still whiskies, uh, please have a look at the introduction video to the rest breast uh, whiskies and the Irish whiskies in detail. Uh, and we have a look at the label. 46% ABV for 21 years old. Well, this will be close to cask strength. And this one is non-chill filtered as the 15 years old and the 12 year old in cask strength is also. Only the red breast 12 year old, the, the entry whiskey to the range has 40% ABV and is chill filtered. Matured in the finest oak casks, that's written on all those labels. Unique among whiskies, Red Breast 21st is a single pot still Irish whiskey comprising exclusively of pot still whiskies which have been triple distilled and matured in oak casks for not less than 21 years. An uncompromising dedication to quality and to the enduring tradition of Irish pot still whiskey is the hallmark of Red Breast. That's written on every bottle of Red Breast. Here there's a, again, the same telling on this capsule and in the back. Tasting notes. Nose, a remarkable aroma, spanning fresh tropical fruits, nuts and rich dried fruit. Taste soft vanilla, toasted oak, sherry nuttiness with a dusting of pot still spices. Luscious, fleshy fruit notes complete the creamy mouthfeel. Finish lingers seemingly forever to oak and pot still spices. And then the final bow from Bali, where it all began. And thank you to the marketeers and to printing people. Letters are much better. Just two different letter types here on the back. Hmm. Okay, I also received this bottle from the distributor. It was, yes, empty or close to empty uh, during some uh, tastings. And uh, I'm happy he gave me the rest of this bottle so that I do not have to open a fresh one. What do I expect? Well, 21 years old, that means a very, very long time in the cask. <sighs> Logical. Um, and that means more cask influence than distillery character. So the strong, spicy pot still character shall be, well, more mature and covered by the casks, which comprise also of sherry casks and ex-bourbon casks. Um, so this one should be more complex uh, and show a, a much bigger oak influence than the others. I forgot my tasting notes. I put my tasting notes always below the camera and uh, here we go with my tasting notes. So I do not only look in my glass, I look also to my tasting notes. 
but definitely in the beginning there's a big note of vanilla and a very big fruitiness and this fruitiness is the tropical fruitiness the fruit flash and what fruit well and then the cask coming up already the cask and I think it's it's dried fruit so I do not know dry tropical fruit there's this fresh tropical fruit fruit and in the back there is this this dried plums dried apricots whatever and the spiciness the rest of the pot still spiciness as well as the oak appears <sighs> yeah Mm. Incredible. Just what the doctor ordered. No, no, no alcohol for health. Alcohol is nothing for health. It's something for your well feeling. And well feeling might have an influence on your health. Don't drink. Drink in moderation, that's the right word. Just smell and sip. We do not talk about drinking, enjoying whiskey. After swallowing, there is a, well, an influence during the swallowing to your brain. It says, well, you have swallowed this aroma and this food then it has to be good and now the brain says it was good and those aromas are good and it combines those good aromas with your experience this was found by an by a professor of mm, behavior of the brain as well as uh, of a sensory the sensors uh, of your mouth or of the of, of mankind of the homo sapiens the vanilla still strong the aftertaste long together with the spiciness and the oakiness but very very few bitterness if at all so it's a wonderfully matured very old irish whiskey with a well, it spans half the way to the old Scottish whiskies, but there is this aromatic note the Irish whiskies have, typically coming from the cask. Still the fruitiness combined with the vanilla and the caramel. Um, there are first fill sherry casks in the bottling, but not completely first fill sherry cards. It's too light for 21 years. No. Really complex. <coughs> to find a resume to all the Redbirds whiskies, well, the 21 years old is my favorite, of course. Uh, it has so much more of intensity, of complexity. Um, the 15 years old is close by. Uh, if you decide to pay the, the 100 units more, dep depends on, on your pocket. Uh, the 12 year old regular is a very good one. And the 12 year old in cast strength is, if you dilute it, is fresher and more lively so everyone has its own well justification in the market and the prices are going the direction of my personal quality so irish distillers made everything right to get the most of the money out of people with my tasting experience Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. 
There are other whiskies to come very soon, probably from other countries than Ireland. And uh, feel free to share this video with your friends.